greetings and salutations. It is Monday, December 1st. Happy December! Christmas is almost here and I'm terrified because I haven't bought most of my presents yet. Okay, so, um, today I couldn't think of what to do and I was going to do something actually kind of boring, which I may do tomorrow anyway, but, um, we are going to do follower management. So, uh, let's talk about followers. So, followers. Followers. Okay, so, you will start with the ability to have 20 followers active. Um, you can have as you can collect as many as you want. We can only have 20 active. When you get your barracks to level three, you get you can have up to 25. Speaking of which, I should start activating them. I'll worry about that later. Actually, no, I will do it now. So I need um, this is an add-on that you get. Uh, this is the add-on called Master Plan, and it's the one that I really like the most. Um, some of them are really frustrating, but. Um, or they will not frustrate, but they do kind. Of, they just kind of do the work for you. Um, this one does not. So uh, this one tells you how many you have for each ability that needs to be countered, plus all the various buffs. So I need another one of wild aggression. So I am going to update. Let's go Abugar. So we're going to activate. Two hundred and fifty gold. And you can only activate one a day. So I've got 21 of 25 followers right now, so that's pretty exciting. So now, I have two of you. I don't know why you're only showing up as one, but that's okay. And, so, that's a thing. So this only tells you how many active, there we go. So this only tells you how many active that you have with these each of these traits. So, like, for example, I should probably lose one of these, because I have a lot, and then um, reactivate someone who is, uh, reactivate someone who's, uh, let's say, we're probably one of the two. So you want to try and make it about equal. Um, anyway, so the plan is that uh, you have it kind of spread out so that you don't end up with what I have, which is an entire backlog of missions that you can't complete because you don't have the right stuff. Mm -hmm. This one is 78% though, so you know what? Let's do it. That's not bad. Next is 59. Okay, so it gives you, you can, sh Order short sort la 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 la. Try that again. When you can sort your missions by chance of success. What is going on? Okay. Um, by how many garrison resources you get. Um, and then again by chance of success. Uh, by how much follower experience you will get. By the mission level. By the mission duration. But I like chance of success because then I just kind of go from the top down. Um. So yeah. What else we're gonna talk about? So. Um, Followers will start at whatever level you kind of get them at, which are kind of dependent on the zone. Um, but some of them you will get as level 100. Some of them you will get automatically as an epic 100, which is really, really nice. But some of them, yeah, you get kind of silly. So like this one, I've leveled up to level 100, but she still has to be, but she's a green quality. So she has to go to blue and then she has to go to purple. Whereas this one, I got it automatically upgraded to an epic. Um, and you can, as you acquire them, you, they will sometimes be upgraded to epics, um, but some of them won't. Um, and then the, again, the ones that you get as epics obviously can't be changed at all. So, uh, oh, we have another one. Yay! Done. Done. Okay. So, uh, we're going to talk about gear. So, followers, you will notice, they have eye levels. And for some of the quests, like this one here, claiming s Clawing Skyward, um, you, they need to have an eye level of 615 in order for it to work. So you can see I have a bunch of guys, maybe not necessarily with the right stuff. Like, I don't have anyone right now to do this mission, so it's just going to be sitting there for a while. This one is also a 615. I have one person for this. I have one person for this. And I can actually do this one. One in 44 minutes. Uh, an hour and 21 minutes. This one will actually be possible. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so in terms of getting that, when you are doing missions, you have the possibility to get one of these. So this will, this drops a black rock weaponry, which gives you, um, a weapon, a 630 weapon that you can give to any follower. So you don't have to worry about f working out classes. This isn't like Dragon Age, where you have to kind of worry about what classes they are in order to give them weapons. No, they just get a weapon that suits their class. Um, so right now you can see my highest leveled one is a six, my highest eye level is a 628 and she has a 615 weapon but 642 armor and how I did that was I just had a whole, I had like 10 or 12 of the 
their wep their armor goes up three levels, their weapon goes up three item levels, and I had a whole bunch, so I just stacked them. So I buffed her up completely, and there's an achievement for that to buff them up. Um, and they, I don't have any on me right now, which is kind of sad. Um, but they look like this. So if they are a regular one, they're just going to look like this. If they are a, your item level, your follower's item level goes up, or raise a follower's weapon level by three levels, raise, a follow, raise the level of a follower's armor by f three levels. Um, green is either 615 or three item levels. Blue is a 630 or six eye levels. And epic is, now I have to think, because someone I know, one of my followers has an epic thing and I can't remember what it is. Oh, apparently I have one. Okay, so this is, so you can equip a follower with a 615 weapon. So let's do that. Apparently I have one of these. Oh, because he's on a mission, so I can't. Okay. Um, someone, someone has an epic one. I thought, I thought I got one. I could just be insane. I think it's 640. It may be 645. Yeah, okay, apparently I'm nuts. All right, so how that works is, uh, yeah, you just click on it from your inventory. Where is it? There it is, okay. So this gives them a 615 weapon. There's an armor equivalent. And the blues are 630. I'm assuming the purples are 640 or 645. Um, and, or the, if you wanna upgrade, if you wanna level them up, they go up nine levels. So that's how that works. And then yeah, you just right click it and you go like there or you can, as you saw here, this guy, you just, there's an upgrade option in this, and I, I'm assuming that's part of the add-on that I have. Um, so master plan, get it, it's really, really good. Um, so you can get them from quests. Um, I believe they have a chance to drop off of enemies, but it's pretty, pretty low. Um, or you can get them from the crates of salvage that you get once you build a salvage yard. So that's how I usually get them. And um, so if we're going on missions, you can see here, so I don't have anybody right now, but you can, you, they, this, if they have the ability, they will show up on the side. And it will, let's, let's go back to a lower level one. Level missions, 94. So, um, it will, they'll show up on the, what the heck? They will show up with little icons on the right here with whatever they have. So, this one, for example, can counter group damage and magic debuff, and then she's got three traits. So if I had the enchanting building, I could stick her in the enchanting building. Um, she offers extra training, so ex increases the experience gained from her mission for all followers by 35%, so she's handy on group missions, and she increases the success, success chance when she is on a mission with a human. So some of them have environmental, so I will probably have some that counter forests. Um, some will counter, will increase chances when you're with people, and those, again, are all up here. So these are the ones that can be followed. Um, this reduces mission time, increases chances, increases the success chance on missions with longer than seven hours, um, increase success, increases success chance on missions shorter than seven hours, um, increases the garrison resources that you get by 200%. Um, I've got extra training, so this is the one from before, and then Hearthstone Pro, <laughs> which only one person can have that trait. Um, party members gain it, the experience more quickly. And then we have all the different, so increases the success chance on a mission alone, and then all the different races. Um, we have when fighting different types of enemies, when fighting in different environments, and various other traits, so professions traits, um, and whoever has the bodyguard trait, um, which I'll, you use when you're in the barracks, which I haven't really used, but my husband is like all about that right now, so it's, it's pretty handy, I would imagine. It's just an extra someone. The only downside is if they die, you have to wait an hour before you get them back. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for followers. Um, so you can get these items, and I, I just used mine, and I wish I hadn't now, but it lets you, like, basically re-roll the abilities and traits. So an epic one will have two abilities, three traits. So they'll be able to counter two things, and they offer three, basically, passives. Um, a green will have one of each, and a blue will have one and two. Um, and yeah, so 
again, with this add-on, it'll kind of show you how much experience is left until they hit the next either level or um, rarity. So epics, they're pretty much done. Um, a lot of, I've seen some people say once they're epic, just make them inactive and level up your guys so you have a good range variety. But the harder missions that offer good gear, good resources, good experience, you're gonna need epic guys with really good gear in order to do it. So I would recommend keeping at least a couple. Um, but you know, everybody has their own strategy. Everyone has something that works for them and that's fine. This is just my way of doing it, as you know, because it's my video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for followers. Like I said, you can have up to 20 active initially when you get your barracks to level three, which you get by doing 50 patrol missions. Uh, you can get 25 active. Unfortunately, you can only have you can only activate one a day. You can make as many you can make as many inactive as you are over in one day, but you can only reactivate them once per day. So, or reactivate any one per day. So, um, it's gonna take me a few days, but eventually I will get to my 25 of 25. And life will be good and it costs 200 and it doesn't cost anything to deactivate them but it costs 250 gold to reactivate them i guess you have to bribe them to come back to work i don't know but i'm going to tell you something really exciting about leveling up your barracks level three you get racial guards and banners so before these were all humans and the banners were just the i think the alliance one it's kind of like that so now i have darnassus because i am a night elf but how this works is this is really exciting if you are um, exalted. If you are any, if you are any race, um, so any character already, you can get any um, any faction in any um, race in your faction that you are exalted with. So for alliance, pardon me, I'm sorry, I am drinking hot tea and I have a bit of a cold and it's winter, so my nose is running. Um, so I can have Worgen because I have Gilneas exalted. I can have Night Elf, I can have Draenei, I can have uh, the Panda, the Tushri Panda, I can have a Dwarf, and I can have Gnome. Now, Horde, same. So you can have Goblin, you can have Blood Elf, you can have Orc, you can have Troll, you can have the Firepaw Panda, I believe is what they are, and you can have Torin. And I think that's all of them. Oh, and dead. You can have undead as well. But if you are a death knight, you get all the ones of your faction that you have exhausted. Plus, if you are exalted with Knights of the Ebon Blade, which is a faction from Wrath of the Lich King, they are North and Ice Crown. If you get them to exalted, and you are a death knight, only if you are a death knight, you can have Knights of the Ebon Blade guards, which is pretty freaking sweet. So I know what I'm going to be doing on my death knight, because <laughs> that's kind of amazing. So, yeah. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Um, so yeah, I have decided on Night Elf, but I actually I also really like the Worgens. Just kind of show you. You just say, I do. I would like the Worgen to protect my garrison. You run outside. Oh look, there's Worgen everywhere. But I have the Darnassus banners, and I don't know why. These should these should in theory change, and I don't know why they haven't. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. So they should change. But you can have Jernai, I think, unless the banners are just your race. I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure they should. I'm pretty sure they should change. But now I have Jernai. But yeah, the banners should change. I'm pretty sure because I seem to remember. Yeah, because my husband had. Uh, my husband had uh, the. He picked Worgen. That was the only faction. Gilneas was the only faction he was exalted with. Even though he was a knight elf, he wasn't exalted with Darnassus. So yeah, they had the Worgen stuff because it had the three like scratches on it anyway so that's how this works oh and i am um, not awake and i didn't have caffeinated tea this morning because i had a headache and i didn't want to make it worse so anyway thank you for watching um yeah um people have been asking and commenting that i should do a uh whatchamacallit i should do a treasure video problem is i've done a lot of the treasures on my I've done a lot of the treasures on my, um, this guy, so, like, they're not showing up on my map. There's, like, only a few. So, I am thinking that I'm going to wait until I have, um, I'm going to wait until I get one of my alts to level 100. I just won't grab any treasures from them, on them, and I will, uh, then 
give you guys like a full walkthrough of each zone on how to get all the treasures and we'll probably do it by section because a lot of them are quite difficult and you have to like wander around but anyway yeah that is it for today guys how long have i been talking oh 50 minutes that's not bad so let's switch to webcam so you don't have to look at black screen thank you so much for watching um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i might do all the achievements in the garrison tab we'll see I'll see what i feel like doing and i'll talk to my friends and see what they think i should do thank you for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day